Some clocks are seemingly impossible to understand unless you can get really, really close and see precisely what's going on. This is a great example. From the 1920s, a design by Folliot Gray, a remarkable British engineer, probably very influenced by the short free pendulum clock, another twin pendulum design. We have a time pendulum and a drive pendulum. Now, this is simpler to understand because it's impulsed by the interplay of electromagnetism between a permanent magnet and the electromagnetic coil that forms the body of the pendulum. The switching arrangements for which are up here and form part of the resetting of the gravity arm. The gravity arm is this very, very light L-shaped lever here. On the surface of it, the time pendulum only seems to be giving up energy by pushing the gravity arm to the left. In reality, it's kept going by a net positive inflow of energy in this direction. That's because the gravity arm is lifted ever so slightly higher by this arrangement than it is by being pushed that way. So on each swing, more energy comes into the pendulum from left to right than from right to left. It's a really subtle and ingenious design that bears very, very close examination.